this is not going to come as a surprise. Concentration. When you're taking a plane off the ground, from the moment those wheels leave the ground, you're PIC, pilot in command. Anybody else sitting in that airplane, you're in charge. You've got to get them back there. Landing an airplane, I think, is the most difficult thing that I ever learned to do in my life. Most people agree. That's why so many people never finish their training. They just can't do it. And, uh, and you're, the wonderful thing about it is that when you're, as you're, for, say you're coming in for landing, and you're in a busy environment. There are other airplanes there. They're talking, a lot of the, 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 the uh, patrol tower is talking to you. They're talking to you fast. They're talking to you in this uh, pilot speak, which is cursory and mysterious until you learn it. Uh, all these things are happening at once, and the ground's coming up at you, and you're moving at about 125 miles an hour. So it's happening fast, right? And the result is that you can't think about anything else. It erases the rest of the world, which is a wonderful reason to go flying. And it is the same as in acting in that respect. It's total concentration until you see that center line going right between your legs, dividing your body in half, and you hear the squeak of the wheels as you make a nice, nice soft landing and roll out. Um, Concentration. My favorite sport demands the same thing of me. I realized it long since that this is why both of these things appeal to me, because they force me to focus on them and not on anything else that I have brought with me from my life, from the world. No worries, no aspirations, no ideas, no plans, no nothing. You just focus, and that is. Uh, I became a show jumper. I show, I jump horses over big dangerous fences in competition and got very, very good at it at quite a high level. And I realized long since that, yeah, it's the same thing that appeals to me about it. You can't think about anything else. In either case, jumping horses over fences in competition, show jumping, or flying an airplane, for whatever purpose, you are you're the PIC. And the alternative to doing it correctly is death <laughs> or injury. I've been injured badly on horses. I finally stopped seven years ago when I had a very bad injury and had to be helicoptered into New York. But uh, I miss it, and I'll miss it till the day I die. And, and I'll, I'm convinced to this day that I could get on a horse and jump across the fences satisfactorily. It doesn't leave you. I describe myself as a recovering equestrian, taking it one day at a time. These are two things that I love very, very much, and I realized I love them for the same reason. Why? Because they involve risk. Mm -hmm.